after completing Outlast 1, I thought, let's try and tackle Outlast 2. This gaming experience was, I think, about five times more harder than Outlast 1. We are going for the Saint achievement, finish the game on insane mode. Insane mode is permadeath mode. One hit, you are done. It doesn't matter how far you through the game, 99% of the game, you go to the last cutscene, you die, you have to restart the whole experience all over again, which makes it a lot harder. We're also going for the achievement called Messiah. Finish the game in insane mode without reloading the camera battery one. Let's tackle Outlast 2 after we tackled Outlast 1's nightmarish horrors, go straight into it. Let's begin Outlast 2. Now, I had to see this exact cutscene a dozen times. You don't understand how many glitches I went through, how many BS moments I went through, but I finally achieved it. You guys have been asking for it. Here it is. Here with Miss Thickums in the helicopter. Don't want to drop her. But I have to hear a stupid, stupid sentences, these cutscenes that keep playing and playing, unskippable cutscenes, but there it is, the title card. Let's get into the gameplay. Here is the first place that you can die. You have to go very slowly here because I'll show you around the corner, there is this prick, him. If you go too fast, he will not disappear. But if you go slowly enough, he will disappear into the shadows, you will not see him. Again, look at this lady. Once that guy has disappeared into thin air, we will find our first jump scare. Get ready for this one. A little bit of a jump scare. Yeah, stupid crow. Here it is with a big Bertha, AKA the woman who should be in the WNBA. She's about 10 foot tall. She chases you around the whole entire game. I can't, Martha, I think her name is. She is a pain in the ass. Look at the sheer magnitude size of her. All I have to do here is just run around this little barn section. She's going down there thinking I'm down there, but I'm running it. I'm cutting it chooks. I'm trying to run as fast as I can. You can feel it bearing down on you when you just get to this point. Once you get to this point, you are very, very safe, but we have to see the big Martha. We fell down, because you know, Blake here is a little bit too chubby, and too much Mickey, McDonald's, a bit of too much Maccas, you know what I mean? And look who we see through this little gap. Yeah, it's Martha. Once we just see Martha, I went through this window as slowly as I can. He is not meant to get through that door. This is one of the first glitches I came across doing this run. That's why I didn't want to do Outlast 2 from the start. This guy is glitched. As soon as I raise my camera, I'm done. Look at that. He hit me, but I've got another hit in me. So he's going to quickly knock me out. Just get rid of the top of your hair, man. Just go go fully bold, you old prick. God damn it. Always have the glitches, man. Okay, once we got through there, we find Lynn down here after she just got ran a train on. Probably, most likely. If you've seen the end of the game, we'll see that later. But you already know she got that train ran on her. These freaks, look at him, he hasn't had a bath in his whole entire life, but I am down horrendous. So maybe I'll let her have a ride, but watch this. She wants it badly. I am down in the gutter, it's been a long time, so maybe, yeah. Oh, look at my face, you know, you know she's got some sort of disease, and you know her breath stinks. Probably hasn't brushed her teeth in what, 10 years? You know that breath stank. God damn, you can see the grin stench off it. But here's the next section. We're going for that guy to walk past. We're under the water. Here, I felt a little bit of pressure because he seen me early and I got stuck. Look at this. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. And I thought he was going to hit me. But no. I am fast enough. I am more cunning enough, but I get stuck right here. I have to do here. Spam, X, spam. I'm jumping into the walls. Panic. Until we run into this guy. This guy's daughter is the reason that we're here in the first place. So thank you, mate, for having a daughter. That makes me go to this place. But this is the first sane type of guy that I met throughout this whole entire gameplay. But here, we have to lie to him about his daughter. Has to be done. He's going to have a brutal, brutal death here in a second. Let's skip towards that because he's going to put me down in the basement, hidden in his little hillbilly shack. And as you guessed it, Big Bertha, aka Martha, the seven foot woman is up there absolutely assassinating the poor guy. 
I don't know why he didn't give us up. If it was me, I'm telling him he's down below. Take him. Spare my life. But he probably hasn't got much of a life anyway. Look at his little shack. And here it is, the part that I died on three times in a row. Watch this part. Like, what do you want me to do? I'm jumping. I try to jump from the left. I try to jump from the right. But every time I do it, I keep dying in that stupid section. That's another reason why this game is dog shit. I just die from jump. Here it is again. Fourth time is the charm. I had to run the right. I had to look up a tutorial right there. Run at the right angle, at the right speed, at the right time. Press A to get the jump. That's a glitch that I did not like. Three times I died in that section. Didn't like it one bit. After running past two lunatics trying to get at me and a lady in the street with her knife, she was a freak. Had to turn on the generator to get the power to the elevator. And look at, there's the old lady with a knife. She was sitting in the streets begging for something, probably begging for a hot meal or something, I don't know. But she's creepy. She just pops up behind you. Uh, uh, eerie feeling. Here I was wondering why these guys weren't trying to attack me. I'm wondering why they're all going inside. They all have an agenda to kill who anyone they see. But you already know who it is. It's Martha. I don't know how she's seven foot and she can run faster than Usain Bolt did in his prime. That's how fast she is. All they have to do is juke her, do a little loop, de loop, lap, and she gone. But obviously Blake hasn't got much stamina. He hasn't got unlimited stamina like in the last game. In this one, we've got hardly any stamina. So I don't know how we're facing her. He's got he's probably fat. I don't know what is wrong with him, but he's slow and he has no stamina. Once again, getting past Martha, we get here licked up by this freak. You find out about who this freak is later, but we keep going back towards the real live life in the game to the school, which the school is not really that much to see, it's mostly, mostly black. I'm not going to show you all that when I'm going for this, but I want to show you some sections of the school. Here's one section where you see that girl's hanging. Look at this transition, look at this bold motherfucker. He comes in and no one smashes me in the face. I don't know how I don't die here, by the way. And you have to get around this guy. This guy is such a pain in the behind. Come on, mate. Try to catch me, because I'm gone. I'm going faster. That guy's chopped up another body. He's probably whatever. But I have to get out of there really quickly. Jump over. Gotta hide underneath the bed here once I get through this door. Here's the bed. Watch him. You already know he's gonna burst through that door because his agenda's only to get me. Look at him. You're jealous, man, aren't you? Once I see him walk past and go to that second bed, I'm gone. But I also found that if you crawl, they obviously don't hear you as well, which helps out. But I'm not trying to hide in any closets or anything like that as well. I'm trying to get as many achievements as I can. I was going to try to do the one with under four hours. But I'm like, not in this run. I want to do it without, you know, doing too much stress. Because it's already stressful enough, this game. Let alone doing it under four hours. I'll do that in like an easy mode. Maybe on stream one day. We'll do that on stream one day on YouTube if you want to follow the stream. But here it is. We get past him. We lock him out. And we get past that section. That was one of the most harder sections because he just keeps going after and after you. Look, he's still banging down that door trying to get on my ass. And here it is, pitch black without a camera, without a battery, it's hard. Look at this. You can't see a thing. I'm just directing myself through the through the darkness. I'm trying to feel you can vibrate when you hit the wall. So when you hit the wall, it vibrates a little bit. You know, you keep going towards that, keep slithering. And I had to look at some tutorials on this part, especially ah. because I haven't died since the last part where I got, when I didn't make the jump. So we're gonna keep running down here, here and look, there they are. Multiple of them. There's another one to my left. You just can't be seen, but rolling under here as fast as I can, because that guy is on my tail, man. You know how, how it feels when someone's bearing down and you're, you're in the darkness, right? And you can feel like a like, you know, you know nothing's there, but you feel like a devil in your room with a pitch black, go to, like when I go to the toilet, I th I'm in a pitch black room, I'm like, oh my god, is there something on my ass? Or when I go to bed, I feel like something's underneath the bed. That's what it feels like, the fear, the adrenaline, it gets you through this part. I would hate to be Blake right now. I'm gonna jump over here as hard as I can, but job ain't finished. I thought I was fat enough to jump up and down, but I ain't lose. Gonna keep banging down and banging down, they're gonna keep crawling again. Because these guys have no quitting them. Look, I got hit once. That was a new move. I was very, very scared. I couldn't have had time to heal either. 
I'm crawling, I'm crawling. In the dark, it actually makes it way harder. But I put the brightness and the gamma up 100% so I can see more. Get through this little gap. You know they're fat, so I get into a little gap and I am perfectly safe once again. Pray with you? Pray with my nuts. How about that, Martha? Look at her. She's wet, sitting there waiting on me. Waiting on a noob. She's waiting on a nerd. She is waiting for me. She goes out of nowhere. Okay, now all I have to do here is push this cart to the gate and make sure I hear out for Martha. There she is. Every time you move, she glitches sometimes. So if you go to a certain section of the fence, she will bust that thing down. She will bust it down as hard as she can, as fast as she can. So you're going to go in the right direction. You're going to do a big, fat, loop-de-loop -loop lap around the whole building. There's like two buildings. You're going to do a full lap around two of them. But I'm going to try to push this towards it before she busts down that fence. Because she usually busts down that fence on the right side. There she is. I'm going again. I have to do the same big lap once again. Because if she touched me, it's an insta-kill. She, with that big axe, is a one-hit kill. And I hate that about that part. Thanks for the little gap in the fence there, baby. Now I'm going to push this. And once I push it to here, I'll have to just jump over there. And Martha is in my rear view section. I didn't think I pushed it far enough. Oh my god. Get off me. Get off me, bitch. Yeah. Got to kick her in the face. You know how good that felt. Oh my god, it felt good. Yeah. And that's her musty breath, her stench. Ugh, she smelled like shit. And look at this. When I'm hiding in the church, look at the sheer magnitude of the priest. This guy is absolutely gigantic. And he's torturing a woman. I can't show you because he's got her strapped down. He's got wheels. And every time the wheel, it stretches out her full entire legs, her upper body, her arms. Her arms snap, her legs snap, her torso snaps. He's got Judas or something written into his chest, so I can't show that either, but that's cruel. All I have to do here is hook this up and quickly pull the chains. If I pull the chains too slow, big Martha is going to get me. So I've got to quickly pull down the chains, get in there as fast as I can, but I ain't fast enough. I've got to kick her in the face again, you stinky ass bitch. Here, stay back. Mm, I wish I could oh, gouge her eyes out so she can't see me, she, she can't chase me around anymore. Probably has my stench, probably licked my face or something like the other lady. Who actually knows? And here is another part where you got all these sickos. These guys have some type of disease. If you get... Look at this. Look at it. He's... Now we spewed all over Blake, so you know Blake's done for. There's no cure for this. He's done. Literally, he's done. He either die in the game... Or you die when you go to hospital when you leave. But look at this. They are disgusting. They are vile human beings. They haven't had... They need me They needed medicine 10 years ago. I thought I was safe just climbing up here, but... Nothing's safe in Outlast 2. You got this prick punching me in the face. Go get some drugs into you, mate. You're fucking foul. He looks like a pure junkie. You know, on the side of the road, you see them junkies? Definitely one of them. Look at this for a clean transition, by the way. I'm going to go through this little cabin part. And guess what we see? We see a pedophile sitting right there. Yeah, you pedo. Now, here's another part where it's disgusting. We're going to meet two of our friends. Two guys are going to chase me down the whole game. Look at him. You got little midget man. Ugly as shit. And you got the big, big freak. Even more disgusting. Look what they do to me here. This is the first section we see these two mother effers. They're going to crucify me on the cross like I'm Jesus Christ. They're going to try and crucify me. Imagine the pain, the sheer magnitude of pain going through your hands. Look at him, he's going ham on it. God damn, we're going to die of blood loss if you keep going that much, mate. Once they run away, all I have to do here is pull the nails out of my hands on the cross. You know how excruciating this is, but you know, it's Outlast 2. So once I pull my hands off here, all he's got to do is he's going to be perfectly fine. Not like in real life, you're done for. Look at this. That hand is disgusting. I don't know how, how it's going to work anymore. Like, I'm using my hands now because I don't want to feel like it in the game, you know what I mean? Stuff that, bro. After that, I go into this cabin, I get some bandages, and I get my camera back, even though I'm not using the camera at all, because I don't need to use the camera on these sections just yet, but i still got three quarters of my battery life left. I used a little bit too much on that, on that unskippable cutscene. But here's the pedo priest, just trying to run away from him, and guess who was back? You guessed it, Midget Man and the Big Freak. 
they are back in tandem. And I have to do here, dodge their arrows. So I'm slipping, I'm sliding, I'm hiding behind trees, I'm hiding behind rocks. Because they have deadly accuracy. So if I'm standing behind a tree that's a little bit too skinny, somehow he will hit me in the head with the arrow and it will just piss me off. Once I go down here, we've got another one of these disgusting pricks. I don't know how I didn't die there either. Like these cuts, these little quick time events we have to do the little stick like this. It's the worst because if you aren't concentrating for that split second, you're done for. And I, I don't like that. But once I run down here, slipping and sliding, I run into a barbed wire and nearly cut his balls right there. You know how painful that would be? So you got the arrow, you got the arrow shooting guys. Speaking of the arrow shooting guys, I don't even want to say their names because they disgust me. Look at them, they're going to bury me alive, man. Like, come on. They want to see my resurrection? You'll be seeing my resurrection in your nightmares tonight, mate. So all they're going to do here is just bury me alive and I'm going to show you what happens. These idiots didn't put enough dirt on top of me. That's why you bury someone six foot under so you can't resurrect out of, the, out of your grave right there. Here I need to obtain the rope. Now, getting the rope can cause me death by this guy. If I don't get it at the right section, if I don't go at the right speed, they'll be waiting for me when I get once I get the rope. So I'm going to be very, very careful. I'm just going as slow as I can because I don't want to repeat what I've repeated. This is this is about halfway, a little bit beyond halfway of the game, and if I have to restart here. I may have to just give up because there is no way in history I am going back from the start. So I'm going to crouch walk. I'm going to go as slow as I can because look at them. They are patrolling the streets. <sighs> See that guy hanging? I have to quickly cut the rope where he's hanging and get down there without them spotting me, which is going to be a pain in the ass. I'm going to quickly break this twig. Break it as fast as I can. I missed that last one, bro. You, you guys are right in the comment section down below. On the Outlast 1 video, thank you so much for loving that. When you guys said, you're not going to have, you thought that was hard, wait till you play Outlast 2. Outlast 2 is hard because of all the glitches. Without all the glitches, Thanks. and all the unskippable cutscenes, this would be easier. And it wasn't such a bad experience. Look, they spot, I don't think they spotted me right there on the left. Now they spotted me. I have to go as fast as I can, because if I get taken here, I only got 30 seconds of stamina, by the way. If I run out of stamina, I have to use it within 30 seconds. So I have to pace myself. Once I get to about here, I'm like, I'm out of stamina. That's about 28 seconds. Jump over here, hang up the rope, and I'm past one of the more glitch, glitchy sections of the game. Lucky for the last patch was like six months ago, I think. Patched a little bit of it, but still is very, very painful. But watch this. <laughs> this part I like. Look at this. Get off me, you son of a bitch. Look. Betrayed you, bitch. Yeah. Yeah, Vigit Man's done. Look at that. Mm. That's so beautiful, man. They finally got their come up and they're done. Here in the church, I'm still running around away from the pedo. I really don't want to get taken by him because he likes little kids. Even I'm, not, I'm a little kid here in the school section, which makes it a little bit more creepy and a little, a little bit more uneasy in this section. But once I get outside, I'm fine. Here he is once again trying to come after me. See, he's trying to use an innocent picture of a tree with the sunshine in the background. And there's a little girl who he, Jessica, here, not going to say, did stuff hey, to. Quick, so I have to quickly go and try to save her because I don't want that guy touching her. It's disgusting. But here he is in the raft section. There's not really much to see here other than me falling into the raft, into the water. And look who finds us behind us. I'm wondering why not a fallen there, you got three or four guys chasing you down the first time ever in water. So you know that water's probably infested now. And look at that. I get cleaned up. Clean transition into the school, into the school's pool. You seen that guy right there, the ghost? Here we go again. It's rain and blood. Hallelujah, it's rain and blood. Yeah, yeah. This section's actually not that bad because now you can actually see without using the camera. And look at this. I'm slipping and sliding. Through her DMs on her. <laughs> okay. Once we've got past that section right there, look at this. It's rain and blood. 
out in the section, so now you don't need any camera. Look, it's lighting up the whole section now, so it is much more easy to play. Okay, so once I get past this part, look at this mother. I thought it was done here. Look at him. Oh, so he's on our side, this guy. So before the enemy cracks her womb, have you seen her? The lucky ones they kill. Okay, mate. We have to leave. We have to go. It's like in the whistleblower when that guy saves you from that guy cutting your dingling off. Here we're doing a typing message with a deceased girl. You know, Jessica, our friend. What's his name there? Blake Archive. Arch I don't even ancient the machine or something. I'm not going to read all this. He's just going back and forth with a ghost at this point. And look at this, he's busting down the door. It's like an outlast when you're away from the bust down that door and we're gone. But remember, we have 30 seconds of stamina, so we're gonna be careful with that. Here is one of the more eerie transition. Watch this, I'm gonna go through this door, fall down onto, yep, yeah, you guessed it, onto Jessica. Onto Jessica's deceased body. Her neck is gone. And there he is. Disgusting, vile human being. Look, I'm back out here in the raining blood, but I have to get out here quick because there's a lot of heretics or whatever you want to call them chasing me up my ass. I'm crawling. You can feel the tension crawling. You do it in real life in the game. I'm spamming the button, spamming the stick up because I hate this. You don't understand I hate how much I hate that last two. All because of these parts. But I got there in the end. No deaths right in that section, which I'm happy with. And I, if I fail this far through the game, again, as I said, it's going to be from a glitch. Here is one. Here is the last section of the game. We're going into the mines. There's a lot of stuff happening down here, and there is a couple of times you can fail this. And if I fail down here, it may be the end. Once I go down the stairs here, there is a couple of sections where, obviously, the ghost trying to get me. There's a couple of sections where there's some lunatics trying to get me so you gotta be very very careful down here because it's one hit one kill I'm not gonna hide in any lockers or anything so I'm gonna be crawling around in the dark trying to navigate myself around obviously I had to look at a guide but right here in the guide it, it showed me to go through this crack because I'm not doing this 100% blind you can get me stuffed with that but here there's a guy usually standing there but he's not there he is there I thought I couldn't see him, but there's always one guy there. He spotted me. 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. Quickly, quickly. Oh my god. He got me. I'm dead. He only pulled me out? You fool. You absolute fool. You dumbass. I'm gone. Once I get past him, I think that's it. That's it for this part. <laughs> now, what to do here is get the cart and push the cart down to break a wall to get through which shouldn't be that hard here it is navigating throughout the darkness so here's when I'm going to use a little bit more camera because I'm going to flash on and off on and off but once we drop down here we're going to see what we've seen before here it is look at this they're naked but they got sticks all over their face they stank and look who it is I'm going to have to I'm going to have to blur this out she is fully butt naked we are creatures of but appetite. naked. She, her body hunger. is pitch black. I want to see. Her Only thing clean is her her neck up. Seed will burn but now she's touching world. me. She stinks. Where's she's Lynn? fully mustard. You can even see her camel toe. Oh my god! I'm gonna skip past this part. Sorry, I had to blur that bit out because that's disgusting. Here's the last section where I can truly die, in my opinion, is down here turning on the generators. She's running around with the flashlight. So I switched on the two generators and when I see her light, you can be underneath the water for an extended period of time, so about one to two minutes, without running out of death, out of breath it feels like. But there she is, I've already turned on the two generators, so once she goes down the right side, all I have to do is go down the left side, and I'm out of there. I turn off the two generators, if I didn't, I can get electrified and I can be finished right there. But here I feel very, very safe to finish the game. This is the, like the last running section away from her. So we're in the end game here, man, on the end game. Once we drop down here, we're gonna we're gonna find something disgusting again. Look at her, she blows something in my face, like chloroform for them, but it's like sand. She took my stupid camera once again. I'm sick of them taking my camera. 
That is one of the most frustrating things about this game. And what do we run in down here? Can't really see much. Generous of me. As generous of you for this let me out. But there is an O-R-G-Y happening down here. And it is absolutely filthy disgusting. I'm going to skip past this part. And I'm not going to blow most of it. Here's the most disgusting transition. She's got me pinned down trying to, you know, S-E x me and then we run into a little girl that's the most disgusting thing at last that's filthy that's disgusting and i don't like that transition one bit here's an innocent part of the game i thought here maybe we can just shoot i'm just gonna escort her home or whatever like she wanted to but watch this this disgusting human being look at him you already know Sorry. he's disgusting we, look at his birthmark here? on his forehead running down to his eye Blake, please. And just fully cut off that hair, enough. bruh. There's no, no point having the nundle cut. You know when you see the old man who like 60, 70 year old, Everything's like my okay. nundle, rest in peace. You can leave, that's what man. he used, that's what his haircut was. The oh, nundle right. cut. That's what we call it. Have you seen Manu Ginobili? The Manu Ginobili cut. Just get rid of the sides of it, mate. It's not coming back. You put a little two on top of it, you want to get rid of it, but you're a disgusting prick. Look, we're back into Blake's form of a kid. But once we run through this, we're going to hear something very, very disgusting happening once again. Hear that? A little girl screaming. I, I don't think this happens in Catholic schools. We've read about too much in the news. Stay away from Catholic schools. Let's just go to public schools at this point. Look at this. Look at this sick prick did because she's a little girl and she's scared of you. You absolutely assassinated by snapping her neck. I don't know what you think you saw. You know what we saw? We saw you, mate. Six foot under now, buddy. Look at this. Another transition. We pick her up. Here is the heretics saving everyone. But once I run past there, I don't think they're going to chase me that far. But once I run out of this little bit of a mine, you hear them bearing down on you. This is the, this is the very last section where enemies can kill you. So, you best believe I'm gone. I'm getting out of here as quick as I can. I can use as much battery as I want, by the way. No freaking satisfying that is. I've got half a battery. Half a battery, man. I can use as much as I want now because I don't need the camera no more. Playing this in the pitch darkness, I couldn't show you most of the game because this game is basically all in the dark. So I'm happy this game is almost over. I'm also almost done with Outlast 2. You guys have been begging for it. And here it is. I never want to play an Outlast 2 game again. Next time they make Outlast, they may make Outlast Fuck. 3. Fuck. Very, Lynn. very much better. But Lynn. look, we're running to, we're running to Lynn. And look at her. Pregnant. I told you at the start of the game, she got a, a train run on her. But if you know the Outlast law, you know it's a flashing light thing that does it to her. She's not really pregnant, but I thought it was funny. She probably did get run a train on up there just to try to get pregnant. But it's just a flashing light thing. It's, I can't really go into much. Look, you want to look it up? Look up what Outlast Two means. What the Outlast Two story is. But once we get here. Watch what Blake does. This is what I'd do too if I had a, a girlfriend with another guy's baby. I don't care. You ain't, it ain't my kid. You think I'm gonna give an, a rat's ass? Okay, okay. Watch this. Be careful. Oh, she needs a bar. Look. Oh, whoops! I accidentally dropped the. Oh, is your baby okay? Oh, that's a shame. But don't worry. Oh, I'll make sure you're okay. She needs to have the baby right now. But look who's gonna come out of nowhere. You can guess already. It's Big Bertha, aka Martha. Look at her. Shit. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. All I have to do here is run straight. I can't go left through that door there. I have to just go straight. Look at her. I have to look at her one last time in my rear view mirror. Because guess what, guys? The game is officially done. Done. This is the final cutscene right here. We have to look at. But well, this is going to be the most satisfying thing we're going to see here in a second. Because she can't catch me now. I'm already here at the end section of the game. There's no way I can stuff up. Unless my controller dies and the game doesn't stop. But look at here. I want to show you. I'm not going to skip this part. I'm going to, I'm going to roll it. If you made this far in the video, make sure to leave that like. Smash that like button. Come in the comment section down below what game you want to watch next. Because here it is. The end of Martha. Satisfying end to this big bitch. Yeah, baby. Big stick, big thing with a cross on it. You're done. 
<laughs> you're done, son. And we need to get our girlfriend out of here because you know she needs a shower. That's, her hair is really sticky and she really stinks. And I stink. I've got some sort of disease in me now from that guy putting blood, blood in my mouth. Or that guy putting vial all over me. But here, I'm going to have to skip because she's going to give birth. And she's going to not survive the birth. As you see, she's laid out. She's on her back permanently for the rest of her life. No more Lynn. We went through all that trouble to go rescue her. We could have just tried to find a way out of here. But now our girlfriend's done. Now we're going to have to find a new girlfriend, which is a bigger pain in the ass. Look at that guy. He's got no leg on, but look who's here. You guessed it. The priest. Look at him. He is gigantic. Another guy just needs to let it go, man. Go get a hair transplant or something. You got a lot of hair in the back. You just got no hair on top, mate. I'm feeling you, man. I'm, I'm, I'm going bold from just playing this game, to be honest. Watch this. He's had enough of life. He just he just wants to end it here. Through his tensions, all the fat, all the glubber, it's all coming out. All the mackers, all the 7-Eleven runs, all the DoorDash he ordered. He's done. He couldn't even have his final meal. Poor fella. But here it is. The last section of the school. Hallelujah. It's raining men. Because look at that. You get to see his childhood friend one last time. Rest in peace, Jessica. Rest in peace, Lynn. And rest in peace, the Outlast 2. Here is the end of Outlast 2. I just want to say thank you guys for the love and support you drop on this video. And the amount of love and support you've been dropping on my channel, and especially that Outlast video, there was so much love on it. It was not... This video was not possible. You guys wanted this video. I did it for you. But here it is, the achievement. But here it is, the achievement. You know how long it took me, how many tries it took me. 0.04% of players got it, finished the game on insane mode. There's one more achievement I'm going to unlock here, which is Messiah. 0.03% players finished the game on insane mode without reloading your battery camera. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want to see any more videos just like this, click the video above.